Hi, welcome to Arrive With Care. I am so excited because the squeak is fixed. Yes, I won't say that I've been fleeced, but take a look at this. I have the um, evidence here. The trailing arm bush is what was wrong. They said they carried out a diagnostics for the, for the squeak. The trailing arm bush was worn and detached, and the offside front trailing arm bush was replaced. So both were replaced at a mere £53 each. However, when we look at the labour costs, oh my God. <laughs> but you know what? It's a 15-year-old car. I've got 160,000 miles on the clock. Um, but it doesn't do too badly. It drives really well, and it really does now. Because I'm driving, it feels like a new car. And so to celebrate, I'm going to do quite a long drive. I'm going to drive from Dover to Margate. I had a request. I'll put it on the screen. Um, I can't, I can jump without scrolling through, it's on the screen. Can I do a drive to Margate? Call it the Old Boys, something like that. Old Boys, a reference to Only Fools and Horses. So yeah, you know, the cost of doing these videos, totally at my leisure, um, but if you feel like contributing, then there's the super thanks, just under the video there. As little as a pound can be contributed. And of course, I've got my Buy Me A Coffee link, which people are contributing to, and I so appreciate it, because it buys me coffee. <laughs> but it also, mm -hmm. excuse me, also can contribute to the cost of running the car. But you know what, I'm not doing these videos for financial gain. I'm doing it because I enjoy doing it. So we are at the Dover Marine Parade. I'm going to take it to the end here. Join the carriageway, go back up Jubilee Way, take the dual carriageway to Sandwich, and then drop down into Westgate. Is it Westgate? Um, you know, the shopping parade. Have I got that right over the top of my head? But listen to this. I can go over bumps and everything. No squeak at all. It's like heaven. <laughs> ah. It puts the pleasure back into driving. I will, of course, still be aware of all my hazards and observation and keep my eyes focused, but it is such a pleasure to drive. And what it means is, pedestrian crossing here, what it means is that I'll probably be talking more than I have been in my videos lately. <laughs> because I have to, I, I, I had been very selective about when I talk because of the squeak, but it's gone. Oh, we've got the bridge, the bridge opening. <laughs> That'll make the video longer. But I shall edit out the long wait. It's nice to watch the bridge going up. You can't even see the, the body of the boat, just a mast going by. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> it's not often you see that bridge. While it was um, going up and down, I was thinking, I'll probably speed this up. So hopefully it sped up. <laughs> of course it would have. All right, traffic lights here. A 
I think this run could be quite quick. Maybe 20 minutes Dover to um, Dover to Margate. One seafront harbour to the other. We are in a 40 zone. Currently doing 40. I may well because I, I was without car for like three days while it was being repaired and um, it's really strange when you don't have a car how much you realize you re you rely on it you know if you're a driver and where I live out in the sticks it's a case of walking half a mile to the bus stop <laughs> which I did to collect the car so that I could get into Folkestone kids were available but not at the times when I needed to get the car picked up. Daughter-in-law dropped it, helped me get home when I dropped it off, of course. Right, I'm staying in this lane because I'm turning right at the roundabout. And the left lane is potentially entrance into the port of Dover, which I will do on... Is it the 22nd of October? It's all booked. They've bumped our ferry. We've got it. The ferry leaves at 6 a.m. So we've got to be there at 4 a.m. Oh man, that's going to be a fun one. Right, entering a 30 zone. Mondeo is not indicating. <laughs> Was in the outside lane and then turned, went straight across, but still didn't indicate. Right, they've got enforced 30 miles an hour going up here. Heaven knows why, because the road is clear as anything. I'm going over every manhole cover, and not, not a hint of a squeak. It's a funny thing, why do they build manhole covers in the roads? Why don't they just put them on the side or on the pavement? You know, it's only a metre that way. Is it because the piping is going across the road or is the piping going along the road? Either way, put the piping on the pavement. Leave the roads alone. That's what I say. <laughs> right, up to Jubilee Way. Two-way traffic, national speed limit now. Well, not now, but now. get some good speed on with this trip because it's fast up to the top of Jubilee Way then we'll take the dual carriageway is it the 258 all the way in Sandwich yeah let's do it roundabout head reduce <laughs> that always makes me chuckle no, it's the 256 we're heading for. Clear to my right. Indicate off. Allows the trucks to know what I'm doing. Still national speed limit. End of dual carriageway and no U-turn for three quarters of a mile. I had a request to demonstrate a U-turn. Now, my understanding of a U-turn is that you're in this lane and you can do a complete 180 in the road without a three-point turn. But someone added a comment saying, our roads aren't wide enough to do a complete U-turn. And normally you just have to do a three-point turn. So yeah, a U-turn for me is just turning the car around. I'll throw one in whenever I can. End of no U-turn. Coming off here. I want to go right at the roundabout ahead, so I'll get in the right-hand lane. on, it feels so exciting. 
Clear to the right. Bumps in the road. You don't scare me. <laughs> not, not 650 quid later. <laughs> hey, I could do a road trip to Scotland now, or Derbyshire. Oh, but not this weekend, because it's Duxford weekend. Going to Duxford tomorrow. Probably do a video for my Tudor travels. But maybe the weekend after, I'm just going to hit the road. Go straight across this roundabout. Decay off, unlike the Mercedes. Right, let's get some motoring on. Got a nice bit of dual carriageway now. Get it up to 70. Just noticed my left wing mirror is adjusted. That's probably for the mechanic that was um, test driving the car. God, this is so smooth. It puts a smile on my face. Winds for three quarters of a mile. Get past the slow van. Junction on the left, 400 yards. I am going back in the lane. I'm not anticipating anything coming out, but I'll move out if it does. Bypasses do have their advantage, don't they? Make for a quick drive, rather than the coastal road. Someone asked me to do a video, Dover to Dimchurch, <laughs> along the coastal route, which can be done. That could be another long drive. I'll we'll slow it down a little here. Peugeot didn't indicate. They're obviously allergic to their indicators. Military jeep over there with the bonnet up. the Grand Tour last night. It was the newest release and the last one they're ever going to film. I think. <laughs> they're making all the um, um, making all the waves if 
you like, to say, this is it, we are finished. But the, the kind of the expressions they were giving was, perhaps it won't be the last one. Not sure what the Persia's doing there. But there was a little scene where Jeremy Clarkson says, I don't think I can do this anymore because I don't like electric cars. <laughs> he says, they're shit. And I kind of get that, you know, the whole combustion engine thing and, you know, there's so many different variants of a petrol engine car and it does put the pleasure into driving. It was a very good show. But left me wanting more. Let's go and watch the um, older series. Right, they've reduced the dual carriageway to one lane now, which kind of chicanes from the left to the right. I suppose too many people were racing down to the roundabout and not giving way. Persia will probably not indicate off the roundabout, and it didn't. That's because people forget to drive, or how to drive. National speed limit, junction on the right. of you wondering it's September the 14th when I'm filming this Saturday morning it's just gone 20 past 8 and when I started the roads were quite busy and they're beginning to get busy now by the time we get to Westwood Cross that's where it was not Westgate Westwood Cross because it's a shopping precinct area center I will anticipate a lot of traffic around that area especially as we then pass Westwood Cross and go down into Margate. there. If you've not seen my very popular video of the A82 drive to Fort William, where I get stuck behind a driver who's mounting the pavement, I, th I think he does it twice. It's worth a watch. It's not so much for the scenic drive, but it's in my early catalogue. I will put a link up here. Um, I've been flamed so much for that video. Criticised for criticising other drivers. Criticised for being too close to him as he was mounting the pavement. But I was just driving my normal distance from cars and I don't tailgate. But it's almost like people don't like criticism. They don't like it when I criticise other drivers. But we all do it. You know, for being what we consider to be the best drivers that we can be, we will all, what's that silly fool doing? You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> but equally, I've been on the road where I've been going the wrong direction and I'm like, oh no, where am I? I've got to stop, I've got to find somewhere convenient to turn around. So it's all give and take, isn't it? But I'll still criticize everybody. <laughs> I pay my road tax, and it's not cheap. Oh, 
this is a rather pleasant run. The sun is shining. Saturday morning. Might stop off somewhere and get a full English breakfast. That would be nice. <laughs> I'm going to put this visor down. No, it doesn't work. I'm aware that the sun is shining on the camera because of where it is. But hey, you're not watching me, are you? You're watching the road. Citroen? Ah, no indicator. Van did a sneaky overtake, like I did at the Dorking thing in my last video. <laughs> I'm expecting criticism for that. You know, swap the outside lane to get past the slow car. zone. It's pretty roundabout ahead. Nobody indicating off. Doesn't help the drivers approaching from the other side, does it? because they don't know what we're doing. They can guess we're going straight ahead. Because I was so aware of the the squeak from the back for almost a year um, now that it's gone and it could be just my imagination it's almost like a placebo thing that the car feels so much smoother right, I can get past these slow coaches get up to 50 ahead with a closed lane so I anticipate going into the right hand lane soon enough got a tiny little car shooting up here at about 70 but he'll get past me before I've got a filter in lane restriction carry on beyond the roundabout, I wonder. No, it's clear after the roundabout. 138 a litre for diesel here. Why is it almost three or four pence cheaper than the Dover area? would cross. I'm not going to indicate left yet because there is an immediate left but I will indicate off the roundabout. I didn't want people to assume I'm going into that left and junction. No speed limit, no stopping any time. Twenty-seven minutes on the video but remember it was um that bridge, which was probably about 10 minutes.
next roundabout I need to turn right to take the third exit so I will need to shift into the right hand lane but there's nothing behind me so I can leave it to a convenient time Volvo XC60, lovely car. <laughs> Only because I'm driving one. Right, this is a 50 zone, still no stopping at any time. Get in my left hand lane. Driving into the sun. <laughs> the sign says tunnel. Who would have thought it? Do we need a sign to tell us that? I'm really looking forward to my Scandi trip. Do some driving with my driving instructor son as the passenger. Of course, I'll be on the other side of the road driving a right-hand drive car. It's gonna feel strange, especially doing videos. But I'm gonna knock a few out, so stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed and you fancy watching me driving in Sweden and Norway, then um, it could be fun. Lights are changing. <laughs> the road, the sign in the road said B slash STRS. <laughs> Obviously, broad stairs. <laughs> I'm laughing because it looks like. <laughs> wonder if the um, road painters thought that when they were um, creating it. Right, the roundabout is closed off on the right now. So I'm not indicating right because it literally is all the way round. But I will indicate off just so that the cars know I'm turning off. National speed limit. What a fun drive. I hope you're still with me and haven't tuned off. Viewing, viewing hours or minutes contributes to the popularity of a video. That's one of the algorithms that YouTube measures. So if a video is 10 minutes long and gets one minute views, not so good. If it gets 10 minute views, good. If the video is 30 minutes long, and gets 30 minutes views. YouTube love that. Cars slowing down. Car coming around on the right. Two cars. All clear now. That is a nice new road layout. Unlike the ones they've done in Folkestone, crazy. Right, 40 zone. Not, not a hint of a squeak, even when I hit the um, potholes. Which, by the way, are awful. The road surfaces around Kent, dreadful. No right turn. I always debate whether I go into Westwood Cross or I turn left at this roundabout. It does have traffic calming measures, but it's the original road into Margate. So I'm gonna do it. 30 mile an hour humps for three quarters of a mile. But I've got a wide um, wheel. What, what, what would you call it? You know, the distance between the wheels is wide on this XC60, so I hardly feel the bumps. But I am doing 30. We've got no footway. Rebuilding the wall there. And we've got some traffic lights. The old farm shop. on the left. I wonder if 
they're going to put pavements in. Whee! It's like a chicane. Monte Carlo Rally. It's more scenic, this little one, this little road, rather than going through the Westwood Cross um, shopping estate. And that road comes out there where the roundabout is by the Toby Carvery. So, swings and roundabouts, right? Get stuck behind traffic or navigate the um, sleeping policeman. I'm going to take a left to Margate here rather than straight ahead. No, I'll go straight ahead. Normally my route takes me down there because it just avoids the traffic lights and the roundabout up here, but I'll do the normal route. Right, entering a 30 zone. Have you noticed I'm talking a lot in this video? <laughs> Simply because there's no squeak. Sorry, I'll forever be going on about that. And I did think it would get busier with traffic as I got into Westwood Cross Saturday morning. And I see that Peugeot's been indicating all the time at the roundabouts. Very diligent driver. That didn't indicate, indicated right, so obviously as he was going round, but not off the roundabout. to Margate. <laughs> what a run, eh? See, in a forty zone. I think with my new enthusiastic attitude to driving. <laughs> probably going to do three or four drives today but that means if I'm currently releasing every four days that's like three weeks of videos so I might reduce that to every three days just to get the videos out get the channel growing 755 subscribers I get lots of views I'm talking 10,000 views a month it's astonishing how many views I get. And yet, you're not subscribed. Why not? It doesn't cost anything. Just hit the subscribe button. <laughs> call to action. That's what they call it. Right, the traffic lights are ahead. I think I can turn left and it heads towards the station, which I want to do. Because otherwise, if I go straight ahead, I come out by the Turner Contemporary. 
which is the ultimate destination anyway, but I want to go along the front of Margate Marine Parade. Oh, I hear blue lights. Here it comes on the right. Watch out, lads, it's the Rosas. On my system. School ahead. Quaint little roads. Let's go right up ahead. Let's get in the right hand lane, I guess. Especially as it's a one way system. Entering another one way. 20 mile an hour zone. remnants of an old railway bridge, look at that. <laughs> Thanks beaching, I assume. Two-way traffic here. Cars parked on both sides, watching out for doors opening, pedestrians walking between cars. Looking for passing places should there be oncoming traffic. Blind bend. I'm not on the road I thought I was on. It's also confusing. Never mind, we can still get down to the seafront from here. Nothing to my right. I think I should have, at the traffic lights back there, gone across and right. right. But then I don't know Margate that well. I know how to get in here, it's all the little back lanes and things. Back into a one way. And I can see the sea. We'll take a left, then go right at the roundabout by the clock tower, drive around th down to the front. Obviously the next video I release has got to be from this general area. It's all quiet in Margate, look at this. Nobody around. The sea looks glorious. Pull up on the harbour arm, I think that's a convenient place to stop. Car turning right, but not in the filter lane properly. Cyclist joined the road off the pavement right next to me. Awful. A pleasant looking place. <laughs> I could do a U turn here, couldn't I? Let's park up. There we go, that is Dover to Margate, lots of waffle, <laughs> but then I'm just so happy that the car's driving properly again. Um, yeah, I'm going to do three or four drives today, 
so um stay tuned because it's going to be trips f I'm, I'm already thinking i might go f along the dual carriageway to faversham so where i start from i'm not sure but you know the um Herne bay road then i might do faversham to ashford via Cholock. that would be interesting i haven't done that in a long time um yeah Let's see if I can knock out four or five videos today. <laughs> Maybe release them every two days. So, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And drop me a comment. Let me know how you thought of that. What's the drive like now without a squeak? Does it make me more verbose? <laughs> can you just shut it, Judah? I want to watch the driving. <laughs> uh, bye for now. Drive with care.